To understand how the systems of the human body work together, we need to see how they maintain the life of the cells and how tissues and organs that are formed of specialized cells interact. During a cell's life, it uses nutrients for its building materials and its energy. It uses oxygen to release that energy. And as a result of all this chemical activity, the cell produces wastes. Nutrients, oxygen, and waste products are all carried by your blood. Blood is part of your circulatory system. Blood flowing through the vessels of that system is the link between the various systems of your body. It's both a line of communication and supply, helping your cells perform the necessary and complicated work of keeping themselves and you alive. Since blood is involved in the functioning and sustaining of all your body's systems, we can see how the systems work together by simply following the flow of blood through your body. We'll start in the capillaries, a network of microscopic, thin-walled, tubular blood vessels that extend into every part of your body. Through the walls of these capillaries, the exchanges of nutrients, oxygen, and waste products take place between your blood and your cells. The blood flows from the capillaries into larger and larger vessels, veins, and then reaches the main part of the circulatory system, the muscle that pumps the blood through your entire body, your heart. Your heart moves your blood through two separate circuits at the same time, to your lungs and back, and then through your body to all its cells and back. Blood, returning from its circuit through your body, is carrying carbon dioxide and other wastes from the cells. That blood enters one of the heart's two upper chambers, the right one. That chamber contracts, squeezing the blood into the lower right chamber. Then that chamber contracts, and the blood is squeezed out of your heart and pumped through arteries to your lungs, where it picks up oxygen.